good morning and happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Ready to have a miraculous Wednesday, victorious Wednesday. Good morning. I won't be on long, guys. Good morning. I've been up since about five with a headache, but of course, God has been speaking. Um, I wanted to share with you all what he gave me last week. I shared with a group of boys that I spoke with on um, this past Saturday with understanding the difference between the fear of failure and the fear of the feeling of failure. Now, my pastor on um, this past Sunday taught a message and it was called go get it again and it completely changed my life it was awesome if you go back to my Facebook page um, back to Sunday I've shared it several times um, you can watch that the title of the message is go get it again um, and like I said it before this broadcast is titled the fear of failure versus the fear of the feeling of failure. Um, a lot of times we allow things to stop us and cause us to be stagnant or comfortable where we are because we fear, we think that we fear failure. But it isn't the failure that we fear a lot of the time, it's the feeling that we get when we fail. There are so many things that I know that God has called me to do. I know that I'm supposed to be doing. I know that he has me on assignment and he's purposed me to do, that he's aligned me to do. But rather than it being the feel of fear of failure that stops me, it's the fear of the feeling of the failure that stops me. But when I was reading uh, in the word this morning, the scripture, um, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. And behold, all things have become new. I read that this morning and I said, well, Lord, I know this scripture. So there must be a deeper revelation that you want me to see. And he said, anything that happens in that moment or in a moment, once the moment passes, it's in the past. So once you experience that failure, it's over. It's passed away. And all things have become new. So you have to trust God to give you that newness. And understand that with everything that you do, with every passing moment, with every failure, with every disappointment, whether it be disappointing yourself or disappointing others, whether it be failing yourself or failing someone else, you have to understand that in that moment, once it's over, it has passed away. And he's giving you the grace of something new. He's giving you newness. His grace and his mercy supplies you with newness. He says that his grace is sufficient. So even in that moment of feeling like you have failed, his grace is sufficient for that moment and his strength is your portion. So I wanted to understand what he said, fear of failure versus the fear of the feeling of failure. It's not necessarily failure that stops us because in essence, failure grows us. Failure allows us to go to the next level, next level of glory, next level of anointing, next level of faith, next level of business, next level of ministry, whatever your next level is. Failure allows you to go to that next level because you know what you did wrong and you know what you can do better the next time. But it's that feeling that you get, that feeling that grips you in your midst, that feeling of, oh my God, I messed that up. I disappointed myself, I disappointed God, I disappointed other people. There's this feeling that grips you and it's the feeling of failure. And once you're gripped by that feeling of failure, it makes you stop in your tracks and you don't wanna try again. You don't wanna go get it again like Pastor Ronnie said on Sunday. But you have to be determined to go get it again. Um, there are so many things that I have I've stopped and I've, I've refused to try again. Um, writing, I'm, I was working on writing a book of poetry. I have poetry from when I was in high school that I've done absolutely nothing with but the feel of failure because someone didn't necessarily like the way I wrote or my style of writing or I may have attempted to publish something and it didn't um, go off as I 
would have expected. Um, friendship. I wanted to give up on friendship. And it was the feeling of losing people that I cared about and losing people that I love, that feeling of failure in relationship or that feel, feeling of failure in friendship that caused me not to want to try with friendship again, want to be by myself, want to be a loner. And that's not of God. He hasn't called us to be quitters. He hasn't called us to be defeated. He's called us to be victorious because he says his grace is sufficient. So whatever situation that you're in, his grace is sufficient for that situation. There's a song that Casey J playing in the background, uh, Casey J um, made called Journal. And it speaks so much of what I feel, how you want to give up, how you don't feel usable, how you don't feel like God can salvage, salvage the bits and pieces of you that have been broken and shattered, but he can. They've been broken and shattered because of the feeling of failure, but God wants to restore. And like I said in the beginning, the scripture that God gave me this morning was that um, uh, if any man be in Christ, this is not, in my, in my opinion, in my revelation, when he says in Christ, he is not necessarily talking about the new believer. He's talking about anybody that will be bold enough to declare every day that they are a new creature in Christ, that they are new in Christ, that you walk in Christ, that you walk in his righteousness, that you walk in his holiness, that you walk in his word, that you walk in his truth every day. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. So if I fail right now, if I mess up on this broadcast and I feel that that feeling of failure tries to overcome me in that moment, I have a choice to choose that that moment has passed. Old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. I have become new because I am in Christ in this moment. So today, as you're going through your day, if you can think of things um, that you have failed at or that you feel you have failed at, understand that it's not always the failure or the fear of failure that causes you to stop. It's that feeling of failure. I feel like I failed in my friendship. I feel like I failed in this situation that God has placed me in. I feel like I have failed my children. I feel like I have failed in my marriage. I feel like I have failed in ministry. It's the feeling that grips you, that makes you want to quit and makes you want to give up. But you have to be determined to overcome that feeling, allow the word of God, allow the grace of God that is sufficient for your situation to override that feeling your feeling is not your truth and don't allow your feeling to be your truth today allow the word of God his love his grace and his mercy to be your truth this morning walk in his truth walk in his newness he if he graces you with the newness walk in it and understand I can't say it enough it's not always the fear of failure it's the fear of the feeling of failure. It's just a feeling, and feelings pass. Your mood, just like your moods change, your feelings pass. Pass. They pass away. The old things allow it to pass away. No matter what happens today, no matter what happened yesterday, especially if it happened yesterday, it's in the past. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new today. God has allowed all things to become new just for you today. So don't allow that feeling of failure to stop you. Don't allow it to make you stagnant. Don't allow it to make you get comfortable right where you are and settle for less than the best. You're deserving of the best of God. He said he wish above all things that we prosper. And that's not just in finances and money. He's talking about your health. He's talking about your businesses. He's talking about your dreams and your visions. He's talking about your relationships, your friendships. He's talking about uh, your schooling. Whatever it is he's placed you in, whatever assignment that he's giving you, he wants you to prosper. His plan for you is to prosper. But if you allow that, that fear of the feeling of failure to stop you, Prosperity will not be your portion. So allow prosperity to be your portion. Allow his grace to be your portion. Allow his mercy to be your portion this morning. Know that God is more than enough. No matter what area you filled in before, God is more than enough to restore you back to your rightful place. To restore you back to where he had you, that level he had you on, and then prepare you for elevation. 
Amen. So I'm going to pray with you guys and I'm going to get ready to go to work so that I am not late this morning. I am early and excited. Um, my headache has finally passed after so much medication, but I thank God that it has passed and it's passed to allow me to give you the word that he has given me today. So I am going to pray with you all um, before we get started. Before I get started on my day, some of you have already started um, your day, so I'm going to pray with you and my hubby is here, so we're going to pray with you together. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. My husband is here, so we're going to uh, pray with you guys and just pray that um, you allow the newness of God to overshadow you today, the grace and the mercy of God to overshadow you today, and you trust and believe that you don't fear the failure because fear is a learning, I mean, failure is a learning experience. See, I just messed up, but it, that moment has passed. <laughs> That moment has passed. That's the perfect example. That moment has passed. Let's move forward. Don't allow that feeling of failure to grip you. Be determined to push forward. Be determined to push forward. So I'm going to pray for you all. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, your peace that surpasses all understanding. We thank you, Lord God, that your grace is sufficient, that your grace and your mercy is our portion this morning. We thank you that your strength is our portion this morning. We thank you, Lord God, for your love. We thank you, Lord God, for your unconditional and uncompromised love. No matter what failure says about us, no matter what our disappointments say about us, no matter what people say about us or think about us, we thank you this morning that we are more than enough for you and you are more than enough for us. Us, Lord God, allow your grace, as we said before, to be our portion. Allow your love to be our portion this morning. We love on you today. We reverence you, God. We honor you and glorify you for the great and mighty God that you are, for the majestic God that you are. We reverence your holiness and your righteousness. We reverence, Lord God, how awesome you are. You are awesome, God. And you're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think in our lives today and every day. We thank you, Lord God, that your word says that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. We declare that we are a new creature in you this morning. Because of you, we declare that we are great. Because of you, we declare that we will prosper. Because of you, we declare that we will make your name, your name great in the nations. We will make your name great among people, Lord God. We will be your light this morning as we are every day. We will show God, we will show people, Lord God, who you are through us, through our actions, Lord God, through the way that we speak. And we declare, Lord God, that everything that you have us to do, we won't allow the feeling of failure to override the assignment and the purpose that you have on our lives. We trust you with everything that we are. We trust you with your with our faith, oh God. And we trust you that you're going to elevate our faith in you today and every day. God, we give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. And we ask that you go with us through this day. Grant us, oh God, traveling grace if we're heading to work, oh God. Grant us, oh God, peace. And joy unspeakable, Lord. Failure is not our portion. The feeling of failure is not our portion. But your grace and your mercy is. We thank you this morning and we give you all the glory. And it is in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus that we pray. Amen and amen. We love you. I love you. Have a fantastic day. Remember, the feeling of failure. Let that feeling pass. Let it pass. And like Pastor Ronnie said, go back and find that video from Sunday. I, um, I shared it on my page. Go get it again. Go get it again. I love you. I'm, I'm looking forward to testimonies. If you have testimonies, comment under this. Find this video again and, and comment your testimony or inbox me your testimony how you chose to go get it again like Pastor Ronnie said and how you chose not to allow the feeling of failure to stop you. Denounce the fear of failure and denounce the feeling of failure and go get it again. I love you all so much. Have a fantastic, victorious, and miraculous Wednesday. And I'll be talking to you all again soon. God bless.